Hey everyone, I want to start this video off with a big thank you to all of my subscribers. We finally hit over 200 and we are quickly growing. Now let's see how many more we can get. Okay, enough of that Mike, let's get into the video. The water temperature in your aquarium has a bigger role than you may think. Since fish are cold blooded creatures, the slightest change of even a few degrees can result with dramatically different behaviors and actions. If you understand how temperature affects your fish, you, which you hopefully will after this video, you can use temperature to your advantage and your fish will greatly benefit from it. First of all, let's talk about the obvious. If your water temperature gets too high or too low, it can be lethal. These lethal temperatures range greatly depending on species and it is highly recommended to stay within 5 degrees of their ideal temperature at any given time. Now let's talk about what happens in the, when the water temperature is too high for the fish living in it. One of the most immediate consequences that you will notice is called hypoxia, which is also known as oxygen starvation. This occurs because warm water can contain less oxygen. You will notice your fish struggling and gasping for air. Oftentimes it may look like they are trying to breathe at the surface. Many people get confused and think that that their fish on the surface is actually able to breathe the oxygen. However, if they are not a labyrinth fish, their bodies do not accept oxygen in that form unless it is dissolved. These fish are towards the surface because there is a slightly more oxygenated band of water towards the top due to small surface agitations. For, for more info on surface agitation, click the rectangle on the screen. This behavior will quickly exhaust the fish and potentially lead to its death due to drowning. It is very important to keep a close eye on your room temperature surrounding your aquarium as well. Oxygen levels in the water are lowest at night because the algae in the aquarium stops photosynthesis and therefore stops producing oxygen. Many owners of fish do not notice that the fish are experience, experiencing hypoxia in the middle of the night and that after an extended period of time the fish can end up drowning because they are too exhausted. You can simply avoid this conflict by reducing the water temperature. You can lower room temperature, turn down the heater, add more surface agitation to aerate the water, turn off lights, or for a short term emergency situation only, you can even add ice. On the opposite side of things is low temperature water. Unless the water is really, really cold, which will kill the fish quickly, the low water temperatures can lead to some horrific long-term effects. To start, cold temps will slow down all bodily functions, including the immune system, which will make them more susceptible to diseases. The fish will grow slower and have their growth limited greatly. The fish will not be active and seem to be resting all of the time. This is because they lose control of their body and slowly start to shut down. Their brain will be too cold to act or think, and they may slip into a coma. This very often leads to death. Sadly, many people do not know when their water temperature are, is too cold, because it usually occurs when the heater breaks. Many people rarely check water temps and whether or not their heaters are still working. That is why it is very important to check your heater daily, or at least every other day. Just a quick glance of the thermometer when feeding is all you need. To help fish recover from high or low temperatures, slowly, slowly adjust the temperature over the course of a few hours back to normal to avoid shocking the fish with dramatic changes. If the temperature is extreme, the fish is in urgent need of help and it is then acceptable to try to immediately change the temperature. However, it should never get to the point. A suggestion I have to regulate your aquarium temperature is to use two heaters because if one breaks another will start working. I, I always set one to one degree below the other so that if I see the lower one working I know that the higher set heater is broken or not powerful enough. Now I'm going to share some fun facts with all of you. This is a new part of my videos that I think I want to start doing but let me know if you like them and if I should continue them in my videos to come. Fun fact number one. The cichlid family is the largest fish family in the world containing about 3,000 species. However, there are no exact amounts of species known because new ones are being discovered every single year. 
Fun fact number two. Although there are no official records for the world's largest pleco, some have been seen to get three and a half feet long and to weigh over four pounds. Let me know if you have heard of any bigger pleco. Fun fact number three. The Shedd Aquarium in Chicago, Illinois has over 32,000 animals and over 1,500 different species that they care for. On the top right and left of the screen, I'm going to put a few links to my source articles that helped me create this video. I personally found these articles to be really interesting and they still have a lot of good content that I didn't use. I highly recommend checking them out. Again, let me know below whether or not you like these fun facts and if I should add them into all of my videos. And I'm going to end the video with that. To stay up to date with my channel and to make sure you do not miss any of my future content, please subscribe by clicking the circle in the center of the screen or the subscribe button below. I picked a few videos out that I think you will enjoy. To watch them, click on the boxes on the screen to watch it. As always, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks for watching.